Radio City Music Hall in New York City. It's America's number one game show. Hey, Matt, this is Matt McLean from uh, Pleasantville, New York. Huh? Yes, indeed. You have friends here? Well, I do. I have my lovely wife, Deborah, out in the audience with me. Well, Deborah and, brought uh, about 800 people with her, apparently. We left our three usually lovable cats at home. Great. You're an actor, they tell me. I am an actor currently seeking fame and fortune here in the New York area. Well, not on this show, Matt. That's my job. <laughs> All right. From the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City, it's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump Card, Jimmy Sapphiro. Thank you. And Matt McLean from Chappaqua, New York. I'm pronouncing that correctly? Well, you say Chappaqua, I say Chappaqua. It's all the same. <laughs> Chappaqua, all right, we'll give you that one. I understand that uh, you enjoy... Uh, Composing some music. What type of music? Oh, just uh, basically on the piano, uh, whatever comes into my head. Just chords and melodies. All right. Best of luck to you. Now we meet ten more people who think they can do even better, okay? And they are Valerie Porter, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Michelle Fricky, Springs, Texas. Bobby Herner, New Orleans, Louisiana. John Dorquist, Fairfax, Virginia. Tracy Wise, Mobile, Alabama. Annette Corio, Lorraine, Ohio. Matt McLean, Lake Carmel, New York. Garish Apte, Las Vegas, Nevada. Donna Hedges, Downing, Carrollton, Texas. Terry Stiles, Island, Ohio. And how old is he? Tyler is eight years old. And he's been prepping you, right, for the he's game? He's helping me with the uh, state capitals and uh, ah. wherever else he can. <laughs> okay, what's the capital of Connecticut? Connecticut, Hartford. Very good, since you're from there. All right, let's hope you have something like that on the test. Does that get me a check? Nothing. Oh. Gets you nothing. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Are you ready to play? I am so ready. Okay, let's play. Ah, Dave. Uh, sorry, Matt, your turn. Come on, Matt. Come on, Tony. Four hundred. End, please. Oh, nicely enunciated. Two ends, yes. <laughs> R, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a couple of R's. Three hundred dollars a piece for those. Okay, Matt, what now? I'd like to buy a vowel. Sure. An I, please. There are some I's. Uh, yeah. Looks like four of them. And I'd like to buy another vowel. Okay. An E, please. And one E coming your way. Ah, uh, 900. M, please. Sure, three M's. Uh, Matt, well, you're getting up there now. $3,600. And I must spin. Well, if you must, you must. Ooh, our first good ooh at Radio City, too. 200. A Y, please. Yes, two Y's. And you're up to $4,000, Matt. I must spin. Seven hundred. An L, please. Yep, one L. Forty-seven hundred dollars. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Well, then, then go ahead. I'm doing my Christmas shopping early. <laughs> Well, 
everybody's winning some money up here. That's nice. We have a good tight match going. Just $100 uh, separating our leaders right now. You're an actor, eh? I am indeed. All right. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll play a third round, which will feature a $3,500 space on the wheel in just a minute. Stay with us. Pick a card. Question and Matt. You won the draw backstage, so if you will, please choose the first category for us. Well, Jimmy, since we don't have it at home, how about cable TV? <laughs> cable TV, all right, everybody, hands on buzzers, here we go. The cable network, which calls itself the only network for kids, shares its name with early movie theaters whose admission was five cents. Matt? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon is correct, it covers 16, you're on the board. Please uh, choose let's, for us. Uh, let's stick with it, cable TV, we're on a roll. All right, audience, keep it down now, because here comes tonight's first fastest finger question. Check it out. Put these movies in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. The Joy Luck Club, Coyote Ugly, Andy Hall, Steel Magnolias. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest film, and it was Andy Hall. And then Steel Magnolias, Joy Luck Club, Coyote Ugly, that's the right order. Let's see who did it the fastest time. A lot of people, the winner, John Norfolk. It's for $100, Matt. In a house, what adjective is commonly used to describe the main bedroom? Executive, general, master, bootylicious. <laughs> Master of my own domain. See, master. <laughs> yes, sir. Good start, Matt. Go for 200. On a car, what are connected to the front and rear axles? Batteries, wheels, bumpers, brake lights. The wheels on the car go round and round. B, final answer. Yes, they do. Go for 300, Matt. Which of these creatures' names is also a word meaning relic of the past? Dinosaur, dragon, mammoth, unicorn. Hey, dinosaur, final answer. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Going for 500, Matt. Okay. What McDonald's menu item was introduced in 1963 to serve Roman Catholics on meatless Fridays? French fries, chicken McNuggets, egg McMuffin, filet o fish. D. Filet of fish, final answer. Many a Friday I had one of these. You got it for $500. Going for a thousand. Gotze mille is an Italian expression meaning what? Bless you, have a nice day, many thanks, until later. It's got to be C, many thanks. That's my final answer. <laughs> yes, you've got it, Faisal. Back for our third round, we have a $3,500 space out there on the wheel this time, and another puzzle to try to solve. It's a person. Okay, Matt, you'll start. Well, Matt, I have an important question to ask you. What letter do you want? R. Doggone it, there's not one R. Meg. During the 80s, what junk food was reportedly always in the Oval Office of President Reagan, Matt? Jelly beans. Jelly beans is right, yes. And let's uh, stick with junk food. In May 1990, kids all over the world mourned the loss of a Sesame Street legend. Matt. Jim Henson. Jim Henson is the correct answer, yes. Please choose for us. Let's, uh, stick with, uh, let's stick with the front page. What two-word rhyming phrase describes what rodents throw in a game of craps? Matt. My Stice. My Stice is right. You got the hang of it. We cover number 22 on your card. Let's uh, stick with rhyme time. So, rhyme time. We continue with it. What two-word rhyming phrase describes a well-washed garbanzo? Matt. Clean bean. Yeah, clean bean is right. You've got three squares covered in round number two. Two more, you'll win that $1,500. Well, let's uh, keep the category rolling. Rhyme time it is. What two-word rhyming phrase describes a very happy maraschino? Matt. Mary Cherry. Mary Cherry is correct. Yeah, we covered number 24. One more correct answer and you'll be a happy cherry too. 
Well, in that case, uh, let's stick with rhyme time. It's doing me justice. All right, too. All right, let's get uh, serious now. How about filling this hot seat with the next fastest finger question? Take a look. With these books by U.S. presidents in the order they were first published, starting with the earliest. Rough Riders, No More Vietnams, Profiles in Courage, Putting People First. Okay, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest one. Rough Riders, Profiles in Courage, No More Vietnams, and finally, Putting People First. All right, let's see who did it in the fastest time. Yeah! And you brought along your wife, Debbie, who's in the audience. Welcome to you, Deb. Hi. Nice to see you. I understand, Matt, that the two of you just ce celebrated your 20th refrigerator anniversary. Now, what does that mean? Well, about 20 years ago, uh -huh. the very first time that we kissed was in front of a refrigerator, and it had been after a month and a half of each not knowing that the other was interested in the other. And uh, after a brief conversation, our eyes met, we stepped together, we kissed, and each year we try to recreate that moment on May the 20th. <laughs> in front of any old refrigerator? In front of any old refrigerator. Okay. We're, we're not particular. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you get really frisky if it's a freezer instead? I mean, does it just be up the ante or no? <laughs> we put on the big boots and the gloves and... Who knows? Well, I'm glad you're here, Matt. Very nice to have you, and you're doing extremely well. You're going for $2,000, 10 away from the million, and you have all your lifelines, which is a great position to be in. Are you ready to keep playing? I'm so ready. Okay, then <laughs> let's play. Okay. I think I'll buy a bottle. Oh, hang on uh, just a second. That sound uh, means time is running out. A rough time for that to happen, too, but I'm going to give the wheel a final spin, and I'll you know, ask you to give me a letter. It'll cost you about five seconds to sell, but vowels worth nothing. And uh, consonants, uh, not to be worth a whole lot, but we have a lot of letters and a very tight match going here. Same name as the category. David, still your turn, a letter, please. A T? Yes, one T, and you have five seconds to wrestle with that. Matt. R. Yes, three R's. You get to $600 for those letters. After you'll see them, Vanna will move out, and then you'll have five seconds, starting now. Same name. Barbara and the Garden of Eden. Yeah, that's it. Well, the nice thing is on our first show here at uh, Radio City that uh, we have three winners, and that's always good news for us. Uh, Dave, boy, had a lot of money up there, but uh, I think time got you more than anything else. But you did very well, $3,650 altogether. And Meg, you did very well, too, $4,800. It was Thank nice you. having you along. But here's the big winner, Old Matt, as we like to call him. $600 in this round, $5,300. This stage is loaded with stuff, Matt. And we're going to take a little walk and find out what he's going to play for. And you take a look at these messages, and we'll come back and we'll find out. Stay with us. Follow me. Absolutely. Matt, Matt you had the early lead. You like that uh, rhyming category. Only needed a few more questions. Right. I think it was a Mary Cherry that, uh, <laughs> that Randy beat you to, or you would have gotten the win. It's for 2000, Matt. A 2004 TV special subtitled Return to South Fork reunited actors from what popular TV series? Dallas, The Andy Griffith Show, The Dukes of Hazard, Dynasty. Darling, I've got one answer for you. A. A minute ago you were Italian, now you're. <laughs> Dallas, final answer. You're right, partner. You got it for $2,000. Okay, Matt, you're going for $4,000. Sounds good. What Canadian province is home to Ottawa, Canada's national capital? Alberta, Ontario, British Columbia, Quebec. Audience, help me out, please. Okay, audience, Matt needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 56% of the audience here believes it is Ontario. Second place goes to Quebec or Quebec to 
28%. In the AOL instant message crowd, 46% say Ontario. Well, I was torn between Ontario and Quebec. I feel that this audience is a bright audience. And I will put my trust in them at this moment and say, B, Ontario, final answer. Put your trust in the right audience, Matt. You have $4,000. Thank you. Thank you. The name of this headdress comes from the Persian word for bull band, meaning scarf, wound around the head. Matt? Turban? Turban is right. Yeah, we covered 17 on the card. In 1973, a group of countries responsible for 30% of the world's oil cut back production. By what name do we know this cartel? Matt? OPEC. Yes, that's correct. OPEC is right. We cover 18 on your card. What six-letter Latin word do we use to say free of charge? Matt. Gratis. Yes, gratis. And I would like to play fine. this trump card on yeah. my dear friend Randy. Where are you gonna... On Randy, all right. You guys got to be buddies already. Right. Going for 8,000 here. Uggs, a trendy style of sheepskin boot, were originally designed to keep whose feet warm? Mountain climbers, soldiers, cattle ranchers, surfers, Uggs. We're going to phone a friend. Okay, who do you want to call? Stuart. And who's Stuart now? Stuart is a friend who teaches science. Hey, interesting choice. We're going to get Stuart on the line. Hello. Hi, Stuart. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Just fine. How are you? I am great. You know I'm here with Matt. Yes, I do. And he's got $4,000. He's going for $8,000, but he needs your help. Sure. Okay, Matt, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Uggs. U-G-G-S. A trendy style of sheepskin boot were originally designed to keep whose feet warm? Mountain climbers, soldiers, cattle ranchers, surfers. 18 seconds. Uggs you were originally designed to keep whose feet warm? Can you repeat those? S. Nine seconds. Cattle ranchers or who? Meet, Mount, repeat that. Mountain climbers, cattle ranchers, soldiers, surfers. One second, go. Cattle ranchers. chance to ask him how sure he is but so what the heck let's let's not leave a lifeline on the table um, then again then again Stuart did say cattle ranchers it was with some degree of 50 50 I'll take it <laughs> okay <laughs> Peter, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers Okay, it's still there, along with surfers. Ugg sounds like such a surfer dude sort of thing. <laughs> uh, putting on my Uggs and hitting the waves. I'm going to hope that Stuart was inspired and say, see, cattle ranchers, final answer. It's not cattle ranchers, Matt. Pain, 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 it's pain. surfers. Oh, oh Matt. I'm sorry, oh, but sit right there. Do not move. That's your check for 1000 Stay put for one second. After the break, we'll meet college student Amanda Pendolino. Listed alphabetically, which of the nine planets comes last? Matt. Pluto. Oh, sorry, Venus, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the very next question. And Matt, we don't have any money for you, but you have our thanks. We have some nice consolation prizes. Right now, Randy, join me downstage. I'll show you how you can win some more. We are back with our first big New York winner here. $5,300 cash. Uh, and I hear a rumor sweeping this place that you want still more cash. Is the that word true? cash has a nice ring to it, yes. It does, doesn't it, Don? <laughs> yes, Pat. Matt. Solve the puzzle and you win good old American cash that adds up to $25,000. I think I threw my arm out there. Uh, listen, I'll tell you this, the category is person, and we're going to give you some information, I hope. R-S-T-L-N-E, any of those letters in this puzzle? Ms. White. Oh, good. 
All right. Very quiet in our audience, folks. Very important here. And now we need three more consonants and one more vowel. D. One. M. Two. C. And a vowel. A. All right. Sure. Again, folks, very quiet. We're playing for $25,000. I think he has a shot at this, frankly. Uh, all right, person is the category. You have 10 seconds. Good luck. Uh, I'm going to love this man. Joe Namath. Yeah, that's right. Touchdown. Step up here, Deborah. You did all right. Uh, can you think of any ways to spend the money? Uh, I can do lots. Yeah, well, that's your job, <laughs> after all. Congratulations, Matt. Thank uh, you so much. Nice going. Over 30 grand. Good way to get started here. We'll be back with uh, this uh, Cabot guy in just a minute. Sure. <laughs> Our departing contestants will receive the following. Jean Roulet makes you a high roller with this unique 18 karat gold layered over brass die desk clock. Features a calendar and all quartz movement from Jean Roulet.